An outbreak of a disease usually only causes a few cases. However, if the conditions are right, an outbreak can spread rapidly across countries, continents, or even the whole world, becoming a pandemic. The devastating medieval plague, the Black Death, killed about one in three people in mid-1300s Europe. The outbreak originated in Asia, where it killed over 25 million people, then arrived in port cities of the Mediterranean, as ships that brought goods from Asia also brought an extra cargo. Rats, carrying the bacteria that caused bubonic plague. The plague likely spread from these rats to humans as their fleas jumped hosts, and then spread person to person through human parasites like lice. The plague started off in hubs-like cities and radiated out from there. Trade routes remain a major way that diseases travel today. Chikungunya is a viral disease that causes fever and severe joint pain. Chikungunya arrived in the Caribbean in 2014, and research on the genetics of the virus showed it had traveled from China, through the Philippines and Micronesia, and into the Caribbean, presumably through the Panama Canal, the same route shipping trade takes. Chikungunya virus is spread human to human via infected mosquitoes. These mosquitoes like to breed in small pools of water, which are found in shiploads of car tires as rainwater collects in them. So ships carrying tires also brought the mosquito that allowed the viral epidemic to take hold. Today, diseases arrive in countries according to how well connected people in those countries are to each other. If we look at the swine flu pandemic of 2009, when date of arrival in a country is plotted against geographic distance from the start of the pandemic in Mexico, you can see there isn't much of a pattern. However, scientists instead worked out how connected each country was to Mexico via the air travel network and called this the effective distance. Plotting this effective distance against date of flu arrival in each country shows a really strong linear relationship, which suggests that the flu was traveling on planes country to country. Understanding how past pandemics have spread is a vital tool for scientists to try and work out how to prevent a small cluster of disease cases becoming a global pandemic in the future.